Hey, Vito here, and we're on to step three of the value ladder, where we're gonna add more results and more revenue to your business and to your clients' lives, and they're gonna love you for it. Because here we are in the industry recognizing that training alone isn't gonna get people results. If we're not tackling their nutrition and the fact that their lives are more mobile now and they need more convenient solutions, we are ignoring the reality of people's lives to the detriment of your business and to the detriment of your lifestyle. So it's time that we start embracing that our clients need more help with other things that are within the scope of what we do. Nutrition is within the scope of what we do as long as you don't diagnose and prescribe. As long as you're just working on habit change, relationships with food and behavior change. If you're working that and you're helping people just eat, eat healthy meals and make better choices, you're in the realm of what we should be doing because we can't ignore that the, the things need to be married together. And if we're ignoring that people are on the go, people are on their phones, people need mobility, people need at-home solutions, you're just not looking. And you're gonna end up, what's happening, what happened to Borders. Remember Borders, the bookstore? You don't see them around anymore, do you? Why? Because they didn't look quick enough to what Amazon was doing. What about record stores? They didn't look quick enough to what iTunes did to change the scope of what was happening in music. Fitness is changing now. The way we deliver fitness is changing now. We just gotta pick up our eyes and start looking at it and not be so attached to the dogma and the old ways we did things as to be like, people will only train with me live. I used to think that. And then I got out of my own way. I put my ego aside and I recognized that people don't have to just train with me live. You can correct form, you can see things, you can create videos, you can do stuff to still be accountable and keep people connected now because of online than ever before. It's just now, the fit pros that are evolving, they're running ahead. They're reaching way more people and they're making way more income and they're living way better lifestyles. It's just, are you gonna do it? That's the only question. Let me give you a couple strategies that you can plug right into your business right now. I don't know what nutrition products or programs you wanna find. Find the thing, do your due diligence, do your research, go find the thing that is meaningful and purposeful to you. But to just say, I want my clients to eat only whole foods and I don't want to give them any supplements or anything like that, it's you're, you're freaking ignoring that they're buying this stuff out there already and they're not us. They can't make six meals a day perfectly all buttoned down. They had McDonald's the other day. They're skipping breakfast now. They need some convenient solutions. We need to be helping them with it. We're talking about it in our sessions all the time. And yet we send them to GNC, Vitamin Shop or Costco, or we just send them out to go do their own research online. Give them really complicated meal plans that they can't follow, and then they start thinking I'm a bigger failure. Strip it down. Give them clean eating solutions. Make the programs easier. Just work on a little behavior change. Plug in some nutrition products that you believe in. We plugged in Shakeology. Why? Because it's, it's a whole food. It's not just a supplement. It's non-GMO. It's freaking organic stuff. It's all um, nice and healthy. It makes their life simple. It's considered high dense nutrition. So it fit our core belief and values. You might have different ones. I know tons of other great product lines out there. Find the one that also gives you a good business model. Don't worry if it's network marketing model. Boo-hoo, it's a network marketing model. That's all that old BS about network marketing is bad, it's the devil, it's a business model. You gotta revisit these things and get kind of out of your own way. I'm not saying that to be like I'm, I'm facetious or anything like that. I'm just, it's the reality. I watch so many fit pros go broke because they don't want to look at a fitness, at a network marketing model that can give them products and programs that will benefit them. And instead they just go broke. Well, cool. That's your issue. But those that are starting to get out of their own way to realize it's just a business model, just like any other, just like any other. People have failed at it the same way people have failed at small business. And until people start bastardizing and demonizing small business and things like that, because people have failed at it, then we gotta stop doing that to network marketing. 
because that business model has created millionaires in the fitness industry. Just do you want to do it? I don't know which one it is for you. Just figure out because plugging in those nutrition programs gives you a continuity residual membership, I mean uh, revenue that comes in, no dropship, I mean no inventory. You just simply have to plug it in. What I would suggest is don't just put it up on a shelf and think people are gonna buy it because it's on a shelf. Plug it into programs. We do that, we, take, we took our meal replacement shakeology and we plugged it into a program, 21 day slim down, five day fat furnace, etc where we wanted to teach a program and we showed people how to use it. When you show people how to use it and they use it for a consistent period of time, they get the result, then they see the value, then it's never a sale. You're just recommending what works. They don't have any problems with that. And that's gonna build more results for them, more revenue for you. Same with online coaching. People wanna be connected more today. Are you connecting them? Are you finding ways to besides when you're standing on the floor with them to keep them connected. People want to be getting Facebook messages, text messages, emails, because they want to know you care. And they need the help and the discipline. They need the help and the inspiration, the motivation. Do you have a program in a way that you can reach those people and do that? That's a blue ocean strategy for you right now that will differentiate you from others and give you the opportunity to scale in a bigger way. You scale in a bigger way, you're going to make more revenue that's gonna build your business and their results, cool? Third one is specialty programs. How can you start taking your knowledge and packaging it into specialty programs? So, let's give an example of, there's a big, when, when, uh, when I had my gym FE, we had a big population that wanted to run their first 5K. So that's different than just fitness training. That's different than fat loss. That's, I wanna run a 5K. Different style of training, different style of eating, different style of flexibility, all these things that you gotta teach that person about. Shoes and clothes and recovery and what do you do before a race, after a race, all that. Well, instead of trying to just blend it into these programs, we came up with a train to run program. 21 days to run your first 5K. Well, that became a specialty program that delivered new results to our client base that had them lifting their ambitions to do something more at fitness than just train day in and day out. That gets them bored. Now they had a new goal, something new to strive for. We were selling them on a new lifestyle, a new way of being. So that created even more belief in them in the fitness lifestyle. And for us as a business, we were like, well, awesome. We were selling that program at 97 bucks. If whenever we run that program, we got 20 people in. Well, we knew that was $2,000 more out of our existing members. So we raised the value of each member because we started to plot out different specialty programs. Train to release, train to run, outdoor boot camp series, uh, triathlete programs, marathon programs. Started just to dip into the specialties of what our people wanted. And that allowed us to start creating that new value, those new results, and it built our business in the long run. That allowed us to then start thinking about where do we go from there in continuing to add more value and elevating the game. Because you're gonna have members that just want more. They keep on believing more and they're like, I can keep taking this further. And the higher up they go on that ambition line, the more they're willing to spend to get the results that they want and to live the life they want. And that's where we reach that ultimate level four that can start to blow up the whole game. We'll talk about that in our next video. In the meantime, what are you doing to get nutrition, online coaching, and specialty coaching going on in your business? If you don't have any of that going on, book an income strategy session with me. I'll take a look at your current business and see where I can help you find the holes in your business and see how we can help you find feeder programs and these additional revenue streams without reinventing the wheel. And then we'll continue to build from there. Otherwise, stay tuned. Always keep listening, always keep learning, always keep thinking about your marketing because you're going to go out there and you're going to change a lot more lives when you start adapting this fitness penor's life. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.